spirit phone. How old is this? How old is she? Did you use your phone too? Man, we got to get these kids. He said, yeah, take care of her. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. Miss Trey, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Yeah, y'all PK kids or something else. <laughs> PK, something else. Preacher's kids or something else. No, oh, yes, they are. Come on now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise, I give you honor, and I give you all of the glory. Today, y'all, I want to deal with the coronavirus spirit that's roaming the world, roaming the earth. God put this in me to do, and I have to do it. And I thank God for what he gave me to do this thing. So get ready because... I believe that in our lives in here is going to be a serious transition into victory over this coronavirus. You hear me, y'all? Amen. Amen. Now, uh, uh, make sure you got your Bibles because there are things that God showed me in the Bible to deal with the coronavirus. You understand me? So just make sure you got your Bibles. But there's a lot of things going on with the coronavirus. So, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do first. First, I want to give y'all some, some news. I'm, I'm, I want to give you some of the news about coronavirus that's all over the world that they're putting out these messages to, to us right here in our country, in America. But let's look at some of the news before we go to some of the things of the Bible. You hear me? So, uh, let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. I did my research to, to, to research this thing because I want to do it right. I want to really get into this thing. Now, ready? Now. Um, we're in the DMV, am I right? Yeah. We're in the Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area? Okay. Uh, 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 the last count I had received this weekend was there are 10 people infected with this virus in Washington, D.C. We're in Maryland, right? 26 infected in Maryland. Uh, yeah, yeah, it probably has gone up. Mm -hmm. It goes up every day. 41 in the state of Virginia. You hear me? Now, they had just had the first two deaths in New York. The first two deaths, one in New, in New Rochelle, New York. You hear me? Two deaths. But in our region right here, they have 77 cases. That's a lot. Now, President Trump did a travel ban. And at first, he said that UK and Ireland could still fly back and forth. But now, no more. UK and Ireland is now included. Midnight Monday. President Trump travel ban said when the Americans return home, guess what y'all? When the Americans return home, they got to go into a 14 day self quarantine. You hear me? And guess what else? The ban said you can only travel domestically. For those of you who don't, mean, who don't know what domestic traveling means, it means only in your area. Only in your country, only in your region. You got me? He said, only travel if you have to travel. This is the latest news. Now, they said that President Trump came in contact with several Brazilian officials. They even ate dinner with him and his family in Florida at his place. They had the communications chief from Brazil. He is now infected 
with the coronavirus. And guess what else? The Brazilian officials met with the met with, met with the mayor with the mayor of Miami, Florida. Now the mayor has coronavirus. Yeah, true. The mayor of Miami, he has it now. Now in New York, an 82-year-old woman was the first death in the whole state of New York. But hold on. She was admitted last week in critical condition. She was also battling advanced emphysema. For those of you who don't know what emphysema is, it's infections in your lungs. She was dealing with breathing problems before she got it, 82 years old. I keep hearing that most of the ones that's getting it have an underlying sickness. Senior citizens have an underlying sickness already. So what I'm seeing is a deal from hell looking for people who have some sickness to try to kill them with this virus. I'm trying to make life real work rough for them. Now, now, so she was 82 years old and had advanced emphysema, infections in the lungs. Unknown how she got the coronavirus. She died in the hospital. The second one to die in New York was a 65-year-old man with health issues. He died also in Rockland County. New York, get this. Anyone here from New York? One. Mm -hmm. I used to live in New York. Sure did. When I was a little boy, I lived in Brooklyn. But when I was a grown man in my early 20s, I lived in Albany. New York is now reporting the most cases of coronavirus in the United States of America. New York. Uh, Mr. Lawrence's sister's in New York. My brother sent something on my phone. said Al Albany trying to get the businesses to shut down. The Albany, the where I did for a whole year, yeah, is now trying to get the businesses shut down. Yeah. At least, are you ready for this? In New York, at least 524 cases. My God, y'all. Say it. Is it uh, in the city or is it upstate? No, all of New York. All of New York? Yeah, all of New York. They included all of New York. In the whole state of New York, there are now at least 524 infected people in New York with the coronavirus been diagnosed with it. Guess what? Are y'all ready for this? One week ago. They had a team at work. One week ago, there were only nine states in America where they had someone infected. Guess what? It is now 49. One week ago, nine states. Now you got 49 states, including the District of Columbia. Let me hear y'all say warfare. Warfare. Say it. I know. Out of, thank you. Out of all the states in the union. Hold on. Listen to this. West Virginia now is the only state that don't have one person diagnosed with coronavirus. Now, now hold on. Hold on now about West Virginia. How come a few months ago, according to this research, that the worst state to live in in the United States of America was West Virginia? Y'all hear me? They said the worst state to live in in this whole country was West Virginia. West Virginia now is the only one without coronavirus. Mm. Say spiritual. Now, now, hold on. Students, children in here, 46,000 schools closed. And that means that 26 million students are home. Jesus. They said millions of parents are going to be scrambling on Monday, which is tomorrow, tomorrow, looking for a place for them to stay. They, because they're going to work. Many parents don't have daycare and babysitters and all this. You understand me? So they said, many of them will be look, y'all. There's a lot going on with this in this war, right? 
But those parents are worried about where my baby going. If you got a, listen to me. Last thing they want is, I don't need a 10 year old staying home all day by himself. I don't need a 12 year old and 11 year old. Hear me? My God. And you trying to work on somebody's job, you be worried like I don't know what. You be calling home a thousand times a day is over. Now, uh uh, hold on now. Teenage New Jersey, anybody here from New Jersey? Teenage New Jersey? Now, Teenage, is that where Whitney Houston was from? The Isley Brothers? I believe that's where she's from. But I believe that's where they had her funeral. When I saw her funeral on TV. Well, in Teenage, New Jersey? They got 18 new cases and made, hold on now, get this ready. They got 18 new cases of coronavirus, and guess what? They said those 18 cases have been walking around T-neck for four weeks, infected. Where have they been? Who have they been with? Job, family? Come on, y'all. Everywhere. They've been walking around T-Net for four weeks. Y'all hear me? For four weeks. Now, guess what the mayor is doing in T-Net? The mayor is asking the whole city to stay inside. Yeah, thank you. He asked the whole city, don't go nowhere. Good God Almighty. Y'all hear me? I'm giving y'all the news first. It's just some of the news. Hold on now. How about this? Have y'all seen Europe's new hot zone, as they call it? Spain. Anybody ever been to Spain? 46 million people are in Spain. They got a nationwide lockdown. Why? 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 Why does Spain have a nationwide lockdown? Guess why? 5,700 people in fact. 5,000. 700 in Spain. And guess what they said? They speak in, see, when they start declaring things over you, you got to rebuke it. Whose report are you going to believe? I'm not going to receive the report. Now they're saying this, soon to rise to 10,000. No, how about going down to zero? Your speaker saying soon to rise to 10,000 infections in Spain. Come on, y'all. And guess what in Spain? People can only leave home to buy food or medicine or go to their jobs or to the hospital or any other medical center. That's the only place you can go in Spain. You hear me? In the last 24 hours, hey, y'all. And y'all know what y'all were doing like 24 hours ago, don't y'all? Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what I was doing 24 hours ago. I was enjoying life. 24 hours ago, Italy had 175 to die from, from coronavirus. In the last 24 hours, they had 175 people to die. Not to get it, but to die. But they also had 527, they said, who recovered from it. Which I give God praise for that. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Now hold on. How about this? Are you ready? Total in Italy, 1,400 dead. 1,400 are dead from this one demon, coronavirus. You hear me, y'all? They did a town in Spain. Have y'all ever looked in the Newspaper, and you see the obituary, right? Y'all know what the obituary look like, right? Okay, the newspaper. Y'all hear me? Guess what? They said in this place in Spain, the obituary in the newspaper were, was larger than usual, ten pages. Ten pages in the newspaper for the obituary. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Ten pages long. Hold on now. In France, all restaurants are closed. Cafes are closed. 
Cinemas are closed. Museums are closed indefinitely. In Germany, public galleries of more than 50 people banned. Not 250 like they gave us in D.C. In D.C. they did give us 250, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't the mayor get them? No, Maryland too. The governor. In Maryland, 250 also? Yeah, the governor. Oh, the governor gave us 250 people? Yeah. Well, I believe we got 251 today. He was thinking about us. He was thinking about us. Thank you, Jesus. Come on up in here, y'all. We blessed. Blessed by the best. What about those churches that got 10,000 members? Mm -hmm. 5,000 members? 12,000 members. 250. But in Germany, was at the close. In Germany, only 50 people in one place. Say it. Um, I don't know if anybody ever told you. Ten years ago, the show came on called Conspiracy Theory. Yeah, man, I saw everybody, it. We I know. Top scientists. <laughs> I know. They the country, say she ain't coming back. Yeah, I know. We need the runway on the airport. She said that uh, governments around the world yeah. start killing off. There's a lot of theories out here. Look, there's a lot of theories out here, but guess what I got? Y'all, while they're going through theories, guess what? The enemy is Satan. However he uses it, however he's doing it, I'm concentrating in the warfare of shutting this demon from hell down in Jesus' name. Now, hold on now, Germany... Closing bars and casinos and theaters. Oh, oh, Miss Lawrence. As far as a meter is concerned, in American yards, how much is a meter? Someone tell me. Trinidad, how much is a meter? Oh, about 39 inches? Okay, guess what? In Germany, the restaurant can only open. If the tables that you're eating at is one and a half meters apart. So they gotta make sure they measure it so that your table. Come on, y'all! This is purely demonic. Yes, it is. And it's worldwide. Yes, it is. Pastor, did you see Checking what Sylvia Brown had in her book that she had written that in 2020 there was gonna be a uh, pneumonia virus? Who did that? Sylvia Brown. The psychic. You talking about that psychic Sylvia Brown? Yeah, the psychic. Yeah, her boss, her daddy showed it to her. <laughs> Satan knew he was going to do it. Satan showed it to her. 2020, she said, a virus was going to hit. And she said it was just going to come back. But when it co come back, it won't come back anymore. Huh. In about 10 years. Please, Satan, lying from the pit of hell. <laughs> mm. Let, Thank you. Look, now, here's the biggest concern is senior citizens. Elderly Americans, especially those in nursing homes. Anyone in here got anybody in a nursing home? Know anybody in a nursing home? They said the nursing home is a, pro a problematic place for this virus. You hear me, y'all? In the state of Washington, and he's not here today. I wish he was sitting in here today. Mr. Eugene Trahan is from Washington, Seattle, Washington. Two dozen have died in one senior citizen home. Y'all know what two dozen is, don't y'all? If you're in a senior citizen home, 24 people in the same home is dead. Hear me? Hold up now. Now, at the Life Care Center, y'all, I don't know what they name the Life Care Center, but that's where they're dead. The Life Care Center. The Life Care Center, the life care center got two dozen dead. You hear me? So now they're restricting, oh, White House, White House announcement, ready? There is a restriction on all visitors all over the country for nursing homes. You hear me, y'all? You can't go in there. Are you supposed to preach there, sir? They won't let you in. Not letting in. All group activities to council, including, guess what else? All communal dining. They can't even dine together nowhere in the nursing home no more. Y'all hear me? 
You know how you're walking in, they're all eating and, yeah, you know. Yeah. Can't do it anymore. Hear me, y'all? Now, guess what? A doctor named Dr. Todd Elry. Dr. Todd Elry is the director of infections. Of infectious diseases at South Shore Health in Massachusetts. In the Boston, Newton, Massachusetts, in the Boston area. I let me tell you, here's a reporter. A reporter asked him a question. Y'all ready? The reporter asked him a question. Take us into the ER. And what are you seeing right now, doctor? At all the emergency rooms, doctor, what are you seeing? The doctor said, we are seeing record-breaking numbers of patients with flu-like illnesses and pneumonia. Woo! Let's try to hear that. Which you don't normally see in mid-March. Which is the end of flu season. Y'all hear that? One person has now died in Virginia. A man in his seventies near Newport News. Who was he living in Virginia? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Newport News. Who from the Virginia area? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I love the 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 uh, uh, the top. I'm oh, not tired water. Area. What is it called? The Hampton Roads area. Tidewater area, same thing. Okay. Yeah, Tidewater area, Norfolk, all Suffolk, all that down there. He died down there. You got me, y'all? Now hold up now. He's in his 70s, near Newport News. And uh, three Montgomery County residents are fully recovered now, but they got 26 cases. In D.C., no more than 10 elderly people allowed to be in one place at one time. Now there's 10 in D.C. Wow. Uh, 50 in Germany. Now 10 senior citizens can't be in the same place. What age is senior citizens? Help me with that one. What age is a senior citizen? Help me with that Oh, 60 and up? Well, then, then I'm not included in that then. Remember, I'm one year short of that number. Yeah, I'm 59. So, so I ain't got to worry about it. I can be in a room with as many people as I want. It's when you can get your AARP card because I could have got my AARP card when I was 42. Well, well, they keep sending me mail, but I haven't an answered. So well, they keep sending me mail, but I won't re respond. Now, uh -oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's my vision? What's my vision? What's my vision for out there? What is it called? Remember the vision I gave y'all? Somebody said, what's our vision for this parking lot? We drive through what? Drive through prayer. Well, they got the drive through coronavirus testing now. Yeah, yeah. You saw it? Yeah. And they're doing like what we said. They're not even getting out the car. Right. Remember we said? They won't have to get out the car. Just pull up and wet the window and we're going to pray for you. And they're swabbing them right there. They drive through. And first they came in and said, honey, you talking about the drive through prayers that we're going to do. Look at that. They're doing the drive through testing for this demon. Wow. Come on over here, y'all. I saw them. So I'm driving in. Uh, guess what, y'all? The White House stopped all cruises. No more cruises. Amen. No more cruises. Amen. I'm going to say another one. amen. No more cruises. I've never been on No more cruises. Um, uh-oh, the governor of New York said this, he spoke this, he said, they're trying to say we have 500 people infected, but guess what he said, he said, but I believe we have thousands. Oh, my God, anybody go to church around here? Anybody know the word of God around here? Power of life and death is in the what? Call those things that be not as though they. The governor that spoke over New York said, hey, we got probably thousands up in here. Oh, by the way, oh, uh, Evangelist D. Evangelist D. 
You enjoyed yourself down in the Holy Land in Florida, didn't you? It's closed. <laughs> Who been down to Orlando to Disney World? It's closed. <laughs> All the theme parks closed. Uh oh. Who been to Las Vegas? Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. They done closed down the Stella Awards. Well, yeah, good, because they got no business. I'm going to say it. Stella Awards has no business celebrating gospel music ministry in Las Vegas. Every year in Las Vegas. Get out of Las Vegas. Get out of Sin City. Causing people to stop. People come there before you know it, they're up there gambling and everything, and they're coming in to see who won gospel music. They're in Vegas. The zoo is closed, too. Okay, now, uh oh, I see you. I see you. Guess what, y'all? I found out how many beds are in the ICU in this country. If you take every hospital in America, you got 45,000 beds in America. 45,000, and you already got 200,000 cases. They said that the ones, they said all oh, these beds are taken. Now people who have other stuff. Now you got the coronavirus, they come in, what bed they gonna get? They had to put them in tents outside. Where the beds at? Hold on. They only have 160,000 ventilators. They said they don't have enough ventilators. Okay, you ready? Now, now. Now, let me hear y'all say this word. Say safe. safe. Go to your Bible right now. Go to your Bible right now. Go to Job 21 9. I want you to say safe. Go to Job 21 9. 21 9. Job 21 9. I want you to go there right now. Job 21 9. Is right before Psalms. Job 21. What I say? 21.9. I said Job 21 9. Now, y'all, I want everybody in here. I'm going to declare and decree right now that everyone within the sound of my voice, including all y'all that's looking on Facebook, Periscope, Twitter, and YouTube, I now declare you coronavirus proof. I declare you coronavirus proof. I declare, listen to me, if that germ demon touch your body, it'll die within contact of your skin. Y'all hear me? As children of God, you don't have to worry about it. You're safe. I'm going to look at Job 21 9. Ready? Ready? It says, their houses are safe from what? From fear. I declare you won't be panicking in your home. The houses are safe from what? Fear. From fear. You got me? Neither is the rod of God upon them. Y'all got me right there? Yeah. Hold up now. Since your psalm was Psalm 119, 117. Now, what number are they giving this coronavirus? COD what? 19. Are they giving it 19? Well, let's go to Psalm 119 and go to verse 117. And let me hear you say it again. Say, safe. safe. Okay, the 119, I said that right? Yeah. Yeah. And verse number 117. Okay, got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, at 117, let me see, let me get to it. Here we go. Hold thou me up and I shall be what? Safe. Oh, hold thou me up. Who are you asking to hold you up? No. Uh, the government? No. The doctors? No. Huh? Your friends? Because no. they can't hold you up. They're running for their lives. Uh -huh. Oh, whoo. Here it is at 117. He said, he says right there, he says, my God. He said, hold thou me up and I shall be what? Safe. And I will have respect until thy statutes continue. The children of God now. You ready? Okay, go to Proverbs 18.10. And let me hear you say the word safe again. Safe. Now let me hear you say it. Say, safe from the coronavirus. Safe from the coronavirus. Then go to Proverbs 18.10. Proverbs 18 and 10. 
Oh, come on up in here. I love this one. 18, 10, you there? Say, I believe. I believe. Oh, well, y'all don't have to worry about the coronavirus. Well, I got y'all covered with this word of God here today. Ready? Yes. The name of the Lord is a strong what? Power. Power. What are you talking about that? Just talking about that. The righteous run into it and what? It is safe. It is safe. Oh! Yes. Mm, mm. Glory. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Right now. I declare everybody in his strong tower right now. Yeah. Come on. Come on, evangelist. Right now, yeah. we're in his strong what? Tower. tower. Right now. And because we're in it, we are what? Safe. Safe. Yep. That's what Coronavirus the Lord. can't come in that tower. That's what the Lord said. Say supernatural now. Supernatural. Say, 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 got nothing to do with religion. Say, it don't have nothing to do with religion. It's a spiritual. Yep. Yeah. God got us. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, hold up now. Oh, she said, don't get me shouting here. Y'all, look, man, I'm about to shout right now. Run. Go to, oh, I'm about to run into his tower. Ezekiel, go, keep it. Go to Ezekiel 34, 27. Just keep on going. Ezekiel. And you'll run right into Ezekiel. Just keep on going to get Isaiah, Jeremiah, and then Ezekiel. Go to Ezekiel 34, 27. Let me hear you say it again. Say, safe from, safe from the coronavirus. Safe from the coronavirus. Ezekiel 34, 27. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I Keep on looking. Because I'm going to, I'm still turning to, I'm still turning. I'm still turning the page. 34, 27. 34, 27. Got it? Got it? Yes. Oh, man, this is beautiful. Hold on. What country do y'all live in? America. You not this America? Yeah. Well, this ain't just for us. This is for the whole wide world. You hear me, y'all? He reigned on the just and he wished that not one would perish. Ooh, I love y'all, but y'all on it. Y'all, oh, y'all on y'all game today. Uh -huh. Oh, oh heaven's best, healing and deliverance church. Ooh, ooh, we on this thing. Now, you got it? Yes. Ezekiel 34, 27. Here we go. And this is for our country. Ready? Hold on, she tried to find for her son. I miss them. Because this kid won. They won. They're looking for it. The kid want to read it. Look at these little children up here. Oh, she got it. August. She got it. August. Oh. Ezekiel 34, 27. These little babies want this thing. Amen. But they listen. Hold on. Amen. Let me say this. Oh, hold up. Children, hear me. Hear me. Parents, hear me. Because I told my wife this. And I told a woman this yesterday in the store. She agreed with me. Listen to me. When children are out of school, but when they are out on vacation, Easter break, Christmas break, summer break, you hear me? Thanksgiving break, you got me? That happy. If there is a blizzard and they get the whole week off because of the snow, they're happy. But I picked up on something. They got a different spirit on this one. There's some uncertainty in our children. I discerned it. There's an uncertainty in children. They're glad to be off, but they're not like you should glad to be off. They've been forced out of the school. And uncertainty, they don't know when they really going to return, no matter what they say. And they don't like being on vacation because of a disease. So there is some uncertainty among the children. It's not like when well, we're out for Easter break, we're out for this. Uh uh. I picked up on that thing. There's a little difference now. You hear me, y'all? A lot of pressure on the parents. A whole lot. And they said this Monday, they said millions of parents will be scrambling tomorrow. I declare they won't be scrambling tomorrow. All things work out for the good to them that who? They love the Lord. Y'all hear me? Yes. Call the call to what? Purpose? Come on up here, y'all. Now, Ezekiel 34, 27. Y'all there? Yes. It says this. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. Mm, that's good news right there. Hold on. I, say the whole world now. The whole world. And the earth shall yield her increase. 
Oh, come on over here, y'all. And they shall what? Be safe in their land and shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of coronavirus, their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of coronavirus that served themselves of them. Coronavirus trying to serve itself on us. Oh, but it can't do it. That's powerful. That's powerful. Increase. Fruit. Say it. I lost $83,000 in my hour account. You lost $83,000 in the hourly account. Hour account. Oh, in your IRA account? She lost eight, 83 grand. She lost $83,000. People are losing life savings and all kinds of stuff. Y'all hear me? Parents are panicking. There's some parents out here that if they don't work, they don't work. A lot of pressure on them. You're telling them to stay home and they got kids at home, but they don't go to work, they don't get paid. Uh, there's some jobs like that. Then you got the hourly workers. Yeah, the ones who, one with no vacation money. Uh, and the ones who are going to work. Yeah. Are worried about somebody being at home. At Man, that's what I just told them. I don't need a 12 year old at home. I don't need a 15 year old at home. I don't need a 10 year old at home. You hear me? And certain relatives, I don't want to take them over their house. <laughs> Y'all hear me? That's true. Hold on now. Hold on. I don't turn to it, but I got one more saving. I got one more saving, and then I'm going to show y'all something. Oh, man. Look, I got one more saving. I'm going to read it to you, okay? I got one more saving. I'm going to tell you where it is, though. First Samuel 12, 11. You don't have to turn to it, but I'm going to read it to you. First Samuel 12, 11 is my last saving. You ready? And it says this. And the Lord sent Jerubal and Bedan and Jephthah and Samuel and deliver you out of the hand of your enemies on every side and ye dwell safe. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, send angels right now. Oh! Oh! Send angels, angels right now to deliver us from coronavirus, pneumonia, flu demons, germ demons, sick and disease demons. God, on every side. Come on over here, y'all. We're going to pull some people out of the hospital today. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yeah. First Samuel 12 11. He sent the angel. I like that. He, look, he said he sent them. He, hold on. He didn't say man sent them. He didn't say president, governor, mayor sent them. He didn't say the preacher sent them, did he? He said the Lord sent them. Wow. The Lord sent them. Send them, Lord. Send them angels, Lord. First Samuel 12, 11. Hold on. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all something that's going to blow y'all mind. Everybody, here's what I want y'all to do. I want everybody in here right now, I want you to turn to the book of Exodus. I'm going to declare where you live right now. I'm going to declare where you live. Spiritually, I'm going to change the name of your neighborhood. I'm going to change the name of your community. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, Evangelist Gray, I know he didn't want to come right now because this thing is rolling, but 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 maybe they'll show it to you on YouTube later or something. But but I'm gonna say where y'all live. Y'all hear me? Exodus. Exodus. Ready? I'm gonna Exodus. tell you. Okay. I'm gonna rename where you live. I don't care what city you live in. Mm -hmm. I don't care what county you live in. I don't care what they call your neighborhood. I'm going to change the name of where all everybody un, in here live. Ready? Now y'all got to remember the name of y'all new uh, 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 land, y'all new town. Ready? Goshen. Y'all live in Goshen now. You better hear me. G-O-S-H-E-N. Say, I live in Goshen. I live in Goshen. And this is why. Ooh, this is why. I'm going to take you right now. This is why you live in Goshen. Ready? Oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Go to the ninth chapter of Exodus, and I'm going to show you why you live in Goshen. Mm. Hey, come on, minister. Go to the ninth chapter of Exodus, 
And we now live in Goshen. Say, say spiritual now. Spiritual. Well, go to the ninth chapter. I'm going to show you why. Why you're in, in Goshen. Okay, you ready? Now go to the ninth chapter of Exodus. All right, are you there? Huh? Huh? No, are you there? She ain't trying to go, I know that. I'm sorry he showed up now. But hold on now. Oh, it's a she. Look, she wanted to hear this so bad today. She said, Pastor, hurry me get that microphone so I can hear this powerful word before they come and get me. Because she knew it was on the coronavirus. Are y'all in nine? Okay, now. No, I look at 24 first. Go to, I go to 924. Y'all there? Yeah. And you live in Goshen now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, man. Here we go. Exodus 924. Here it is. Here's one of them. So there was hell and fire mingled with the hell. Mm -hmm. Very what? Grievous. Grievous. In coronavirus, grievous. Yes. Such as there was none like, aren't they saying that uh, this is a whole brand new thing, a whole different thing? Yeah. None like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. 25. And the hell smoked throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and what? Beast. And the hell smoked every herb of the field and break every tree of the field. Only the land of Only in the land of Goshen. Y'all better hear me up in here. Yes. Say Bible. 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 Ooh, hold on, Miss Lord. I'm about to go off. Who's up? Sister Roy. Roy. Roy, I told you to put that in my hand. I told you I had a conversation with him about that. That I was preaching on coronavirus today. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice, Brother Roy. Hold on. Hold on now. Look at this. Look at verse 26. Only in the land of Goshen where the children of Israel were, was there no what? Hell. Woo! I live in Goshen. I live in Goshen. Amen. And there is no coronavirus in where? No coronavirus in where? Goshen. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. I know they're waiting. How many more minutes they give? None? Two or five. They're coming. What time is it now? Ask the Lord how many minutes they going to give her. <laughs> Ask Metro Access how many minutes, more minutes they going to give her. Two or five, she has to be out there. Oh, Two or five, oh you got to go. Gotta Hold go. on now. Got to go to Moe's. Hold on. Are you still in Exodus 9? Yeah. Then go to verse number 3 then. Ooh, you're still in 9. Then go to verse number 3 for me. Okay. Oh my God, my God, I'm loving this. I know I was going to have me some fun with this coronavirus demon. We're going to step all over his head and his neck today. Now, in 3, in 3, you there? Yeah. It's going to be Exodus 9, beginning with verse number 3. Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be a very grievous moraine. A moraine is a skin problem. You hear me break out. And the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. And there shall nothing die of all that is the what? Children. Children of Israel. Say, so we are the children of God. Nothing's going to die. And the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. Verse number six. And the Lord did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died. But of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. Uh oh, y'all. I'm about to go off. Died not one. Not one. Not one. The children of God died 
died not once. That's right. Yep. Not one said. Not one. Last verse. And Pharaoh said, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. Say, Satan's going to send his demons to check on us, and it won't be one dead on the children of God. Pharaoh said, well, go check on them. Not one dead. Ooh, not one. God, my God. It was not one. And the heart of Pharaoh was hard, and he did not let the people go. Hold on, are you still with me? Okay, go to Exodus 8. Come on now, go to Exodus 8 for me. Come on now, go to 8. And then go to verse number 22. Go to Exodus 8, 22 for me. My God, my God, my God. My God. Ooh, I'm loving this, y'all. Oh, come on now. Hey, aren't y'all glad we didn't shut the doors today? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm glad them doors ain't shut. This man said, yeah. <laughs> we didn't shut these doors today. He gave me this message. And I did my study and I did my research because I want to be ready for this one. Because this is warfare. You got to be ready to do battle with these demons. I'll continue you in eight. Okay, now, if you were in Exodus 8, look at verse number 22. 822. 22 says, And I was serving in that day the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there. No swarms of coronavirus will be there. Ooh, to the end thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. Say the Lord is in the midst of Goshen. And look what he said. And I will put a division. Between my people and thy people, tomorrow shall this sign be. Hallelujah. Now you do see that, right? Yes. Hold up, hold up. I got something to tell y'all. Hold oh, one second. Hold oh, one second. Now, now, check this. Churches did close up today, didn't they? Huh? Turn the mark. Turn the first chapter of mark. Say it. Turn them off. Woo! Church didn't close up today. Some church didn't close up today, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't go to the mall. Hold up. Say it. These are lyrics from the uh, artist called uh, by Donald Lawrence called Goshen. He says, We pray Goshen. Goshen over you. God's protection for you. You shall live in the land of Goshen. She lived in Goshen. There you will be near. Your children and your children's children will be. Will Same be song. You shall live in the land of Goshen. There you will be near me. Your family and those connected Woo! will have everything you need. Amen. Everything you need. The hand, the hand of the, the Lord. The hand of the Lord in Goshen. Yeah. Grace and his mercy. Grace and mercy in Goshen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's Made considered us. the land of peace. The land of peace. The land of health. The land of healing. The land of deliverance. The land of protection. The land of joy. Gladness. The land of restoration, land of increase, ghost. The land of no sickness or disease, no viruses, no poverty. Land of ghost. Yes. Now, 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 are y'all in Mark? Yes. Now let me show y'all something. Okay, now you're in Mark, right? I'll go to Mark one. Now, some churches have closed today, right? Yes. Isn't Jesus our example? Well, God showed me this in the car coming here. I'll go to verse number 40. Lord have mercy. I know, I know. Hold on. From church to close today, right? Yeah. Ready? Now look at me. Look, look, look. If there is someone who has leprosy. Okay, you better hear me now. If they have leprosy, right? Okay. If you have leprosy, you can't come around people. Okay. Sound familiar? Yeah. You can't be in the same room with people. Okay. Sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. If you have leprosy, if you're walking on one side of the street and people are coming, you got to go to the other side of the street to walk. Leprosy. 
very contagious. Leprosy. No one wanted leprosy. Do you hear me? Hold on. Hold on. Jesus is the example for the people and the church. Now, Jesus is the church, representing the church. The people, it says, and there came a man with leprosy. Did Jesus close up? When the leprosy came to him, did Jesus say, I can't, I can't deal with you? Did Jesus say I'm on live stream from the synagogue? Huh? 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 Yeah. Did Jesus wear a mask? Did Jesus have some sanitizer? Huh, did he? Did Jesus say we can't open our church for about a month? No. No. Look at Mark 1 and 40. Okay. Look at what it said. It said this. It said, it said, hold on, hold on, hold on. It said, and there came a leper to him, beseeching him. Let me look for people looking for church to be open. <laughs> beseeching him and saying unto him, Lord, if thou will, thou can what? Make me clean. Mm -hmm. And Jesus yes. put forth his hand. Yes. Yes. And did what? And said unto him, virus uh -huh. and said unto him I, I will. will. The church should say, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. It's the I will anointing yeah. that God gave us. Yeah. Yeah. I will believe yeah. that Jesus will keep you from coronavirus. Yeah. I will believe that he'll heal your body. Yeah. I will believe that he'll deliver you. I will believe he'll keep you. I do believe that he'll change everything. I will. And as soon as he has spoken, oh! Hey, come on, man. God, immediately. What? Immediately? No. Immediately? The coronavirus did what? Uh, did what? Say departed. 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 And he was. Yes. That's yes. the church. Yes. That's the church they did. That's the church they thank That's the church. Yes. That's, that pain. That's the church. Yes. That's what we supposed to be like Jesus. Yes. Open your doors and say, I will. Yes. Look, 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 look
I'm still talking about the church clothes, right? Yeah. Okay, now look at number two. Now, it says right there, in two one said, and again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was Noah that he was in the what? Oh. It's Noah that he was in the what? House. house. This is a church house? That's a Jesus in the house. Uh, did they, now hold on now. Say he was in the house, right? Mm -hmm. But hold on. They bought that man. Oh, you ain't got to bend down, preacher. No, no, no. Look. So they bought that man in the house. Didn't they bring him in the house? Yes. Pull the house had they closed. So that man got his miracle. It said that there were so many people at the house that there was no room at the door. Right? So they were so, look, look, look. The people that stayed home from the house. Come on, y'all. Come on. Who with me with this? Hold on, look at it now. They didn't stay home from the house. Once they heard that Jesus was in the what? House. house. There's a healer in the house and his name is? Jesus. So they got to the house and they couldn't get in. They were so desperate to get in the house that they went up and tore the roof off the sofa.
First Kings 8, 57. That's it. I saw a 5 and a 7, but it's 57. Okay, now go to 8, 57. Are you there? I got it underlined in my Bible. Go to 1 Kings 8, 57. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Uh oh, hold up. Hold up. God, let me say this to you right now before I release this. This is that powerful. Ready? In John 6, 63, he said, these words that I spake unto you, they are spirit and they are what? Life. The flesh profited nothing. Oh, here we go. Ready? These words are spirit and what? Life. Ready? And it is the spirit that quickened. Uh-oh. Yes. Get ready. Yes. It's the spirit that quickened. That quickened. Yes. quickened means to get life. Amen. Restore. Amen. Resurrect. Amen. Strengthen. Live. Yes. Woo! Ready? Yes. And after I read these over y'all, I'm going to take these fingers right here, these anointed, glorified fingers from God, and I'm going to take the word off the Bible and throw it up in the atmosphere. You just grab it for your life. Ready? 50 says, 857 says, the Lord our God be with us. As he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us nor forsake us. Ooh, come over here now. Go to 60. That all the people of the earth may know that the Lord is God. All the people of the. Hold on. Yes. In Africa. Yes. Friends in Italy and Spain. Yes. Germany. Yes. The UK. Yes. America. Yes. Know that he is God. Amen. Amen. And that there is none else. I gotta say this. Can Buddha heal Nora no. no. Coronavirus, can Buddha heal it? No. Yeah, God can heal it. Thank you. The Bible says the God that answers by fire. Let him be gone. So God answered by fire. The other one did. He said. They try hard to get their God to answer. He said, well, maybe he's taking a nap. <laughs> maybe he's gone off on a long journey. Right. Guess what? A God that can't see, can't hear, can't talk, can't feel, can't heal Jack. You hear me? Hold on now. Verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God to walk in his statutes. Uh-oh. And to keep his commandments as at this day. I'm going to grab this off because he is never going to leave you or forsake you. Know what I'm going to do? You tell the people. Part two. I thought I was just going to do one the whole thing there. I can't. I, I got too much stuff. Yeah, I got too much stuff. It's too big. Next week, don't miss part two. You hear me? Because our kids are still going to be out of school next week. Amen. <laughs> Restaurants and zoos and cafeterias and bars and still be closed. People still be in the nursing home. Amen. Next Sunday. And I'm going to get the mic early because Evangelist didn't want to leave here on that Metro Access without hearing you. But, yeah. but I'm going to get the mic early next Sunday. You'll try to. No, I'm going to. I'm going to make sure of that, Miss Long. I know, but I need that mic early. No, 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 I'm talking about, about what you're doing. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Missy, yeah, Miss yeah, Evolve the situation. So look, y'all, I'm going to throw this up in the air. And I'm going to give you one, uh, one last thing, and then I'm done until next week, part two. I got to do part two. Take it. Give God praise for it. Yeah. 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 Give God praise for it. Now, here's the last one I'm going to leave. Thank 
Coronavirus is a plague. Here's the last one. Y'all ready? Here's the last one. First Kings chapter 8. Oh, we still in 8, aren't we? Yeah, that's where we are. Okay, got it. First Kings 8, that's where we are. Isn't that something? He ended right where we are right now. And go to verse number 37. And get ready for part 2 next Sunday. 8, 37. First Kings 8, 37. Are y'all with me? Here we go. Here we go. 837. First Kings 837. Yeah. Ready? You got it, baby? Yeah. Ready, y'all? Yeah. If there be in the land famine. We talking about coronavirus now. If there be in the land famine. If there be pestilence, a coronavirus virus, Mr. Trader, it, it is a what? It is a pestilence. If there be pestilence, blasting, mildew, locusts, or there be caterpillar, if their enemy besiege them in the land of their cities, whosoever plague, yeah, and they gave my name, whatsoever sickness there be, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man, you don't have to have a title, or by all that people of Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart. Every man. And spread forth his hands towards this house. Hold on, come on, spread forth your hands right now. Come on. Come on. Let me tell you what he's saying to you now. Church is closed. But that will be open. The house he's talking about is the house of God. Amen. Every man. Spread your house, your hands towards the house of God. With the altar? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said right here, hold on, hold on. He said, he said, spread forth his hand towards this house. Say this house. This house. Put the last verse and then I'm done. It says, hold on. It says, then hear thou in heaven. Woof. <laughs> thy dwelling place. And forgive. And do and give to every man according to his ways, whose heart thou knowest. For thou, even thou only, knowest the hearts of all the children of men. The only fear, and we ain't talking about fear being scared, is the first part of 40 that they may fear thee all the days. That they live in the land which thou gave us. So he gave us this land. He gave us this land. Now, all right, where we are. I declare everybody here saved. In your heart, change your heart, sanctified. Blood washed. Holy Ghost filled. Tongue talking. Worshippers. Prayers. Followers. Glorified, filled with the glory. Yeah. Yeah. Glory carriers, yeah. spreading the glory. Yeah. Forgivers, lovers of our enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praying for the whole world. Yeah. Soldiers, yeah. warriors yeah. of God, servants of the Most High God, children of God, yeah. men and women. Oh, oh, my God, of a righteous, holy God. Say, therefore, therefore, no disease, no disease, nor sickness, nor sickness, nor germ, nor, germ, nor, virus, nor virus, can ever, can ever get past, get past Psalm 9110 to touch me. To touch me. Honey, what's Psalm 9110? Oh, what? No there shall no evil what? Before us. Did it shall any play come now out? Give God praise up in this house. Part two next week. Part two next week. Part two next week. Part two next Sunday. Hear me? And I got. So much more to bring from the word of God. Pray to go ahead and cut them off. And go ahead and cut them off.